Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Today we're gonna to be making some delicious um, Parmesan garlic chicken. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what ingredients we're going to be using today. All right, so we're going to be using some smoked paprika. We're gonna be using some onion powder, some thyme. We're gonna be using, of course, the Parmesan chick cheese. Oh, we're not gonna be using the Chick-fil-A sauce. We're going to be using um, uh, two cups of chicken stock, and we're gonna be using our chicken breast. I have them in here. Um, and we're going to be using like about 20 cloves of garlic. And that's pretty much, oh, and then we're gonna be using some heavy whipping cream. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is to um, brown our chicken. Uh, and so I'm gonna brown it in some bacon. So we're gonna get some bacon and we're gonna cook some bacon and brown it up. And uh, we're also gonna be adding some heavy whipping cream. I think I said that already. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start out with our bacon. I have three pieces of bacon here. We're gonna cook. And then we're gonna crumble it up in our, over our chicken sauce. We're gonna let that bacon cook. We're gonna set it aside. Okay, then now we're gonna just take this bacon out. You can cook it longer if you want crisper bacon, but I'm only gonna be using the brown part of the bacon. I'm not gonna be using the fat in this recipe. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to put your chicken in the skillet. I've already put my seasonings on it, some smoked paprika and some, um, a little bit of thyme and a little bit of onion powder. And put this in the skillet. I'm put this side down because I need to start cleaning that side. And I need to see the next piece right here. Both sides. Browns on both sides, rather. 
This will have to be done all the way through right now because we're going to continue to cook it later. And that is so pretty golden brown. Golden brown color. I'm going to put it right in this plate on top of the bacon when it's ready. That on that side some more. I want this part to get done, so I'm going to flip it back over on the other side. Pass it down. Push it back here so that part can get done. This is going to be so delicious. So tasty. I'm going to have this with some mashed potatoes and green beans. Maybe even add some baby carrots. Steam some baby carrots. Well, I could glaze some baby carrots. That might be better. Yeah, I can glaze some baby carrots. Okay, let's see how this one's looking. This is pretty good. Take it off. Get back over. Ready. These are not quite ready. Okay, that cooked on that side. Now it needs to open up and cook. See right there? I'm going to open it up and cook it. That part. Got a flap on it. Okay, that one's ready. Yeah, it looks good already, and I haven't even got halfway through the recipe. Trying to get this one done, and that little edges right here. That edges need to be cooked and thick, really thick breast, chicken breast. That one's pretty much ready. Just enough to ground them. Okay, now, here comes the pH de resistance. The fun part. Okay, in that same juices, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm going to cook my onions, which I forgot to cut. So I'll be back. Okay, I don't know where the video stopped, but the video stopped because it timed out. Um, but I added um, two cups of heavy whipping cream. I added uh, one cup of Parmesan cheese. And I added um, some kosher salt, a dash of kosher salt and some cracked pepper. So all that together. Now we're getting ready to add our meat back in. Add our chicken back in there. I shouldn't be doing this with my hands, but hey, I'm the one that's going to be eating it. But I'll do it the right way. Mm. Some mushrooms would, would have been good in here too. But I'm just, some mushrooms? Wait a minute. I got some mushrooms. I can add to this chicken. Let me go get my mushrooms. Okay, I'm not going to add the mushrooms because the mushrooms are spoiled. But that's okay. That's just an option for you. Okay, so now I'm going to cut my bacon up and put it in here. Turn this on low. Don't want to cook too fast. But I do want it to cook. Sounds like thunder. Sounds like it's about to rain. I don't have to water my garden today. I love it when that happens. I don't have to water my garden. I'm 
I'm just pulling out the brown part of the meat, not the fat. I don't want the fat to go in there. I don't know why this side is cooking faster than this side. That's a mystery to me. bacon on in there. Some people don't like pork, so they're going to be disappointed. But hey, it just adds flavor to the food. Okay, I'm just letting that cook. So I'm simmer down, I'm gonna put the top, uh, top over it, and um, just let it cook some more slowly. And oh, this cream is gonna thicken. I found the top for my chicken, so I'm just gonna let it sit there and that top on low for about another 20 or 30 minutes. I'll plate it up for you guys and you'll see what the final result looks like. Okay, as promised, I told you I was gonna plate this dish up and look at it, it looks delicious. My braised chicken breast over a bed of mashed potatoes and a side of green beans with mushrooms. I'm not mushrooms, with uh, garlic. Looks delicious. This recipe is on my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, bon appetit. Time to eat.